Hey guys, what's going on? Um, welcome to my first deluxe pack review. Um, first, not sure if it'll be first of many, but um, basically deluxe packs here are overpriced as hell, so buying them is a rare occurrence, but uh, this one I bought a little while ago, and I just haven't gotten around to reviewing it until now. So, um, it is the... See, this is my second time filming this, so he's not on it this time. It is the Republic Attack Submarine. We're going to get to both. You just wait till I get to him. So uh, we'll start with the vehicle first. Uh, the vehicle is the RAS, as it's abbreviated. The Republic Attack Submarine. It's pretty pretty solid paintwork, etc. It's just the Republic paintwork. Um, as you can tell from right here, via these two clearly obvious buttons, the missiles are removable or fireable. No, you can fire the missiles. Leg bam, like that, right into my palm. Um, the uh, handles go up for said clone. And uh, the buy me now feature for the kids is the removable wings, which you, or not removable, the flap out wings, which are which uh, fire out by pressing down the little uh, staircase. It's actually clearly a staircase, as you can tell. Um, and another thing is there are these little slots for the guns, as you can see right here, the little square bit, Just shove them on there, and you got a little sort of deco piece. Um, so with that, the vehicle is pretty solid for a deluxe vehicle. I mean, the price, of course, is not worth it, but, but this is the reason it should not be overpriced right here is the figure. Um, really quick, I'm just going to throw his breathing mask on. Um... If I can get it on. So, the Scuba Trooper was originally the reason I wanted this pack the most. Because I'm a fan of unique clone designs. And this was one of them. But the figure is executed poorly. And uh, that's because most of the budget went into this. So, um, the guns are the obvious accessory. It also comes with the removable breathing mask. Sort of like the TIE Fighter helmets. It's a TIE Fighter Piter. Pilot helmets. Sorry about that. And then they stick onto these little prongs. Makes them look like a hedgehog. Um, overall, this is where I'm going to get to the core of this rotten apple. The articulation is crap. Total garbage. Um, vaguely ball-jointed helmet. Um, ball-jointed shoulders. Uh, very strange ball-jointed uh elbows, uh, poor swivel wrists, I mean, they kind of stick, and then you kind of have to force them to move around, uh, swivel legs, kind of very power of the force 2-ish, uh, ball jointed knees, and then ball jointed feet, um, now the thing is, yes, it's decent articulation, as I usually comment for when things have good ball jointed stuff. But overall, it's just a very poorly done figure, I think. It, it should have been so much better. And the rare chance Hasbro's going to release a new one, I mean, you're gonna have to, we're going to have to live with this. The paint works a bit. I don't know if you can vaguely see that. The paint there is a bit crap, but uh, that is with... It's really poor, this lighting, I'm sorry. But, um, I mean... It does still add the unique flair. I'm just kind of digging for gold in the pile of crap right now. So, um, I guess we'll get on to the my new trademark, the standing test. There it goes. We're gonna do that one more time for clarity. And nope, he fails the standing test. Does the vehicle uh, make up for it? Nope. Don't buy this figure because it doesn't stand. It actually does, but um, I think the feet are just a little messed up. And, uh, come on, stand for the kids. I'm just going to hold him up, but, uh, no, he doesn't stand. So, really quick, I'll give you a look at the box before I throw it out. Um, get a cool little CGI render there. Standard Darth Maul at the top doing his thing. Um, then on the back, you just get the description for everything. And I'll read the back, because, unlike the Vintage Collection, collection stuff, uh, this stuff, the Deluxe and the Clone Wars give a little bit of this description, so you get to watch my eyes wander across.
across the box. Alright, so it says an assault submarine can be operated below or on the surface of the water. Go figure. Either way, scuba clone troopers can attack by firing the sub's torpedo launchers at the enemy. So now I remember these being a lot more descriptive instead of two sentences of the obvious. But that's just kind of picking, that's really just solid nitpicking. And you got your little galactic card game none of us plays at, at the bottom. So, um, I hope you enjoyed my first deluxe review. I think this was a little rushed, but I say that about all my reviews. Um, if you're looking for something to sort of add a new dimension to your clones and your Clone War shelf, uh, grab it. Grab it for this. It's a good piece. You can put Kit Festo on it, and then all said and done. But, um, as for the figure, I mean, if I ever sell one at a toy show for, like, two bucks loose... Not even. Usually they, the loose stuff will go for five, if you're lucky. I'd pick up maybe a few for army building, but um, to be honest, I wouldn't buy another one in stores to army build. It's not really worth it. Uh, I really hope Hasbro takes another shot at this figure. Because, um, I mean, there's a lot of potential. There's actually a lot of things Hasbro could be doing. Uh, recently, LEGO revealed some of its new stuff for 2013. I don't do the LEGO stuff, but... Uh, they definitely have a lot more thinking capacity for coming up with what to produce than Hasbro does. So, what do? So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, three more reviews on the way right now, so stay tuned. And uh, keep collecting, may the force be with you.